Coming up next, it's a welterweight bout between Nate Diaz and Donald Cerrone. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Cerrone is two years the elder. He is one inch taller. Diaz will have a three inch reach advantage. All right, to get us started now, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 34 wins, 11 losses, and one no. There you go, first round, you ready? You ready? Let's well, go. it is a venue that has hosted some of the biggest fights in combat sports history, and we are back for more, ready to go with live action, underway here at the MGM Grand Golden Arena in Las Vegas. Well, missed on that one. That one hurt. He landed that punch flush. Oh, that's the defense you're looking for, Joe. Kick block. He's fainting with that punch, showing that punch. Ooh, blocks the shot. High kick. Effective punch there by Diaz. And a right behind it. Cerrone's strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, and he lands good a left big hand. left hand there. Oh, what a wild exchange. Body kick, look at that. And now start to snap off that jab. Oh, what a combination. A powerful left hand. Well, he established the jab early and going right back to the well here. Oh, he has mastered the range here, timing his shots nicely. He got tagged there. And he's looking for that left. Going orthodox now. Oh, that's a big block, Joe. Oh, there he connected. Oh! Just over two minutes to go in round one. Well, Joe, I know he respects the oh! That hurt him. Hard hook. What a jab. Huge shots there. Oh! He's back to his feet, but he's hurt. He's in big, big trouble here. Oh, he got clipped there. He got hurt. Landing. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, he got tagged again. He's hurt. Oh. Whoa. Oh. 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 That is it. My goodness. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful knockout victory right as the round was ending. Wow, so just when his opponent maybe was trying to turn the page to the next round, he gets caught with that huge shot, goes down, and the referee wisely jumps in to stop the fight. So that'll do it. Beautiful technique there on the fight-ending blow, and maybe he caught his opponent off guard a little bit, Joe. Check it out again. Bang. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. All right, let's get it inside of Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 56 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Nate. 
So Nate Diaz still getting the job done deep into his second decade as a professional mixed martial arts fighter. A lot of people thought from a matchup standpoint that this one wouldn't go his way here tonight, but Nate Diaz finds a way yet again, and I just think for a lot of lightweights and even welterweights, they just can't deal with the boxing skills, the toughness, the never-say-die attitude. Nate Diaz getting it done in a big way here tonight.